Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today, of course, what we're here for is our overview of the latest monthly flyer from Harbor Freight. Yep, we're going over the August sales here, trying to see what's good, what's not good, what's a good item, what's a bad item, what you should buy, what you should avoid. Now, hey, real quick, just remember, these flyers are regional, so uh, the prices here may vary. Sorry for my uh, for the video being a few days late here, but it was hard for me to get my paws on one. Uh, they, they keep sending them back to the Vegas address, and I can't get them to send me one here, so I had to go scrounge one from one of my, my friends here. So let's dive into it, shall we? We're, hey, remember also, we're going to move through this kind of fast, and we're not going to be able to cover everything because it would literally take all day. All right. First things first, we got the five drawer tool carts for $199. Now, as we know, they've come out with a new color, that pearly white one. Now, I haven't seen it with my, my own eyes, uh, but I believe uh, Client Graphics has a video on that. You might want to check that one out. Anyway, the uh, the the price here, $199, that's not the best sale price we've seen on it. We've seen it about 10 bucks cheaper than that. But, you know, if you need to grab one right now, $10, eh, that's your call. Next to it, we've got the Braun LED light. Now, if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you know we've talked about the Costco lights. They're essentially the same thing, but they're linkable. That is, you can daisy chain one into another into another. So if you're lighting your whole shop, it makes it a lot easier to, to run your, uh, your power runs for that. That said, I have three of these. I use them. I think they're fabulous. They put out a great amount of light. I like the color spectrum. I like everything about them. Rope light, $8.99, that's an accent light, maybe along a walkway, maybe great for an RV or kind of stuff. Now, the right next to it, we've got the Rapid Ton 1.5 Ton, uh, sorry, Rapid Pump 1.5 Ton Racing Jack. Now, this is the aluminum one. This is going to be your lightweight, easy to pick up, easy to carry. It's got a nice little carry handle on it. And at 60 bucks, that's a great deal. But remember, this is going to be for lighter weight applications. You're not going to be lifting your big old, you know, uh, three-quarter ton and half ton or full ton pickup trucks with this thing. Uh, we've got the Harbor Freight uh, Predator Generator down there. This is the inverter generator. These things are fabulous. Uh, I've been talking to lots and lots of RVers. You know, we, uh, the, the missus and I, we've been looking at picking up a trailer. We sold our, uh, our what was a 33-foot uh, Fleetwood we used to have. And uh, it had a built-in generator. And a lot of these trailers don't come with generators. So we're going to be looking to pick up one of these because that seems to be the new default camper special, if you would. All right, uh, the TV or the yeah the wall mount TV stand there for thirty seven ninety nine. It's not a bad deal. Uh, the batteries there. I I'm not gonna talk about the batteries. You know the bears' experience with the batteries. Harbor Freight. I know the new ones are probably better and stuff. But anyway, next to that we've got the Oilus twenty one gallon McGraw gen or generator <laughs> air compressor. Oh wow, I love this thing. It, it is fabulous. And boy, the pressure. I think it goes up to what one seventy five. Uh, pressure. Not that there's a ton of applications you use it for, but if nothing else, it gets more air in the tank, which means longer uh, times between uh, the 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 pump kicking on. It in it has a reasonable sound volume. It's just a well built machine. I really like mine. Uh, down here we've got the uh, ammo box for three ninety nine. Not a bad deal. Not the best deal I've seen. I think we've seen it for two ninety nine. We got the four camera Cobra security system for two twenty four. That's not bad. That little wood dolly, $7.99. If you're moving or you move a lot of heavy equipment, get one of these. These things are great. And the moving blankets, $2.99. Quite often these will show up as a free item. Uh, I They're not all that thick or plush, but they will prevent scratching. So uh, don't think about them for stopping dents, but they will stop scratches. All right, and down here we've got the uh, the old Harbor Freight, uh, all the cabinets from U.S. General. This is all the, the uh, second-gen stuff in all the colors. <laughs> The funny thing is, right there in, in the uh, the five drawer, they don't show the white one, but there's like a space where it's like, I don't know, did the white one get washed out? Was it too white to show up? I don't know. Anyway, and the real question everyone's asking is, are we going to see the white in the other cabinets? And I'd have to guess that, um, I, I think, honestly, it's a trial that they're throwing out there to see how well it's received. And if it, and if it is picked up and people do like it, I think we'll see it show up in the other cabinets. All right. Next on our shopping list, free. You know what? I really like these little lights since they've switched to the LED strip away from the little individual LEDs. I think it puts out a lot better light. The hook on it's still a pain in the fuzzy tail to get out, and the magnet is anemic. But for a free light, these things are not bad, and they work great as, as tool lights. I put one up under my, uh, my drill press and uh, on most of my stationary tools. 
All right, next to that, we've got the U.S. General uh, 26 inch by 22 inch uh, rolling bank carts. I, I've got one of these. I got it in blue, and man, I I like it. It, it it's great. But you know that that cobalt one I have, I find myself going to that one more and more because I like the size of the drawers. The one thing about these is the, all the top drawers are real small, and if you get the top bank for it, they're all tiny little drawers. So if you've got a lot of small stuff, they're great. But if you've got some medium or larger size stuff, you're going to want a bigger cabinet. All right, we're going to jump down here. The Pro Air Impact Wrench, we talked about it before. That thing is, is a beast for 129 We got the welders here. Now, this is their new, uh, they're, uh, <laughs> they're comparing themselves against themselves. We got the Flux Core welders, the new titanium versus the, the old uh, Chicago Electric welding. Now, I actually have that Chicago Electric welding, and I've spoken many a time. <laughs> shut up, Moto. I've spoken many a time about the fact that I think that Flux Core is, often gets a bad rap for a lot of the basic usage. You know, uh, you know, it'd be like people saying that stick doesn't have a use. You know, the only thing that's usable is MIG and TIG, and that's just not the case. There's a reason all the big boys, you know, you can buy a Lincoln Flux Core. Why would you think a company like Lincoln would sell Flux Core if it didn't have its use? It's a good, basic, go-to, easy-to-use welder that you can use outside and not have to worry about gas or anything else. And uh, then the titanium adds a lot of nice features to it. For $70 more, you got to figure out whether those features are useful to you. Hopefully, I'm going to get my paws on one. I can be able to do a, uh, a comparison test for you. And let's see here. We got the 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 Warrior Drill Bits for $11.99. People always ask me if they're good. They're decent. They're not, they're not fabulous by any means. I look at them as being disposable at that price. Um, they're, sometimes you can get them for a buck or two cheaper. I think $9.99 is the ones I've seen them at. But uh, anyway, I usually have three or four sets of those around the shop for different uses, so I always have a drill bit within arm's reach. Uh, the Braun uh, Drain Cleaner thingy there. You know, I've not used one of those. My kids love to pick it up in the store because it looks like some sort of space weapon or something. If you've used one, let me know what you think of it, as, especially as opposed to the other more traditional styles. Uh, the We got the Apache case down there. The You know, those Apache cases, it's hard to beat those things uh, for the price. I have a couple of them. I love them. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got the, the basic... Uh, uh, spray gun down here. That's the, the old central uh, pneumatics. But we got no. We got the new one. We got the Spectrum and that Black Widow one coming out. But we'll talk about those later. Uh, chains, welding carts. Then we got the Bauer SDS Pro Demolition Hammer Kit. That thing's a beast. It really is. For two twenty nine, it's hard to come close to that in price. I know some of you have been saying like, oh, you can get some cheap ones off of Amazon. That's true, you can. But those are no name brands. And if you got a problem, it's not like you can just take it back to the store like you can with Harbor Freight. Uh, the 20-ton the press, a lot of people ask about the presses also. I, I know a ton of people who have these pros who have this press in their shop. It's kind of the go-to one. Now, you can spend more money, but you're not going to get much better performance. All right, we got $10 off, a little coupon up there. $10 off the chainsaw or the blower. I've got both of those. I've been playing around with it, uh, knocking down some box elders around the house. I need to do a video on that. And I've been using the blower to get rid of uh, dry leaves and stuff. I, they're they're fabulous. They really are for the price. And with $10 off, you want to use that. Um, we've got the Rapid Punt 3-ton jack there for $90. That's about the average low price on that. that that's a great one. I have the 3-ton low profile and... You know, in, unless you've got something more specific or you're running in a high-end shop and you need to go with the Daytonas or something, I think that's about all you could get. I've got, or all you should, you need, I should say. I've got a Ram 1500 half ton. It lifts that thing with ease, not a problem. Uh, again, we got Predator Generator 549. Man, if you need power, extra power, anything with the Predator name on it is a beast and you can definitely trust it. All right, Badlands Winch. I I've not heard anything bad about them. You know, uh, I think I, heard, I I should I take that back. I think I heard one guy say that he knew somebody who had a problem with one. That that's about all I've heard about them. That's bad. I've heard all nothing but good about the rest of it. And we've got the uh, what is that? The Hercules 20 volt lithium cordless toolkit for eighty seven ninety nine. That's one of the cheapest prices you're going to see on that. I would jump all over that. For those of you who are worried, you've been hearing rumors that Hercules is going away, they're retooling the brand. Uh, they're changing the form factor a little bit to make it kind of more their own. Don't fret about it. The batteries are going to stay the same. Everything else is staying the same. 
Uh, I did a whole video on this a couple weeks ago. Check it out. You can, you know, don't, don't let, believe everything you'll hear on the internet. All right. And uh, let's, we're going to skip ahead here. Yeah, let's, we got the Central Pneumatics versus the McGraw. You know, I used to be a huge fan, huge fan of the Central Pneumatics. And that was really because you really had to jump up significantly to get something better. And with the introduction of the McGraw line, basically what you're getting is a the version of the Central Pneumatics that's just a little more polished, not quite as loud, has all the bells and, and features you'd want on it for a few bucks more. And you're looking at 114 versus 124. Really? You 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 want the McGraw. Trust me on that one. Uh, the deep cut variable speed bandsaw. Somebody was asking about that in the live stream last Saturday. I love that. 100 bucks uh, is where it normally sells. So it's about $5 cheaper. That's a great deal on that saw. And people are like, well, is it going to be as good as blah, blah, blah? These saws are not about power. These saws are about the blade. That, that bandsaws are not, they're, especially when you're cutting metal, you're cutting at at high torque, low speed kind of stuff. And it's a variable speed. It's, it feels great in the paw. And, and I've used mine for all sorts of stuff. And if you've seen some of my videos, I even put it in one of those clamping workstations and I use it as a vertical uh, bandsaw as well. Made a little table that snaps onto it. It's great. The heavy duty extreme impact torque wrench for $89.99. If you're doing some DIY stuff around the house, you know, uh, th that thing is a beast. All right, and let's keep going here. Got to move along. Got to move along. It's going to take forever. All right, and there we got the baby brother to the uh, that uh, aluminum platform stand we were talking about before. Great if you've got a larger truck, you need to get up and be able to see over that wheel well on. Uh, let's see here. The, the trailers. The trailers are back. People ask if the trailers are any good. Man, I see these trailers everywhere. People build all sorts of stuff using these as a base. They're... It, they're light duty, all right? Don't get me wrong. They're light duty. If you're going to take them on the highway, you want to get new tires on them. Uh, but you can make a great utility trailer with one of these. And the cost of, of utility trailers is just going through the roof, especially used ones. You People on who have used utility trailers, I think they're smoking crack or something. I don't know, but the prices that people ask is just ridiculous. I've seen you know one held together with rust. The guy won $2,500 for it, saying, well, he paid $3,500 you know, 20 years ago, so that's a deal. <laughs> yeah, deal for you. All right, titanium. Hey, we're going to talk about the welders here in a little bit, so we'll come back to that. Uh, the the Bauer uh, portable thickness planer down there. I, guys, I've done a deep dive. I looked at a lot of thickness planers. This is what they call lunchbox style. The front and the end folds up, forms kind of a little lunchboxy kind of thing. Basically, the, all these are about identical. They, I don't think they may all come out of one or two factories. I'm not sure. But I've looked at them all. And if for a quote-unquote lunchbox style planer, you're not going to get anything better than that price, $250. And that's the go-to price. This thing, when it's normally $329, comes down to like $300 or something, $250 is the buy it now price. That's the one you want. To, to get something better than this, significantly better than this, where like you can actually notice the difference, you're going to have to step up to that DeWalt that's over $500. So if you're willing to pay twice that price, get the DeWalt. Otherwise, get the Bauer. All right, moving along. Remember, if I'm skipping stuff, it's because we talked about it a lot. Uh, we got the Good Better Admiral versus the Chicago Electric. Man, you want to step up and get that Admiral. Uh, the Chicago Electric doesn't come with a blade. Now, normally the sale price on the Chicago Electric is just under $130. And uh, so... You know, it's a, a little bit less than that price there. But still, if once you add a decent blade on it, you're talking about another 30 bucks. Now you're at 160 So the question is for $20 or difference, $19 difference, do you want the better work surface? Do you want the uh, the better laser? Do you want the work light? And do you want the uh, the, the the pivot there so you can get the, uh, the, the compound pivot? Uh, do you want the button on the front or on the back? Because let me tell you, reaching around, yeah, which is what I have to do on the Hercules. I mean, it's not terrible, but it'd be way more convenient to have that lever on the front. Anyway, I, I, I think that's a no-brainer there. If you're going a DIYer or a you know, homeowner type, just and you can. I'm saying if you can't, you know, the Chicago Electric is a decent saw. I had one for years. I loved it till I got my Hercules. So, you know, the bear's a bit spoiled. All right. Next, we got the uh, 
10 inch professional tile and brick saw. Man, I love these. I, I gotta say, I love cutting tile. It, it's a, it's a lot of fun, except when it's freezing cold out and your paws are frozen. But anyway, I digress. 369, man, this is a great saw. It really is. And, and a lot of people were trying to say that they didn't like the blade on it. What I found with, with uh, tile blades is basically you're going to have one of three options. It's either going to cut real smooth and not last very long, or it's going to cut real rough and last forever, or you're going to have something in between. It, it, there, there is no magic silver bullet. No one's discovered the, the, uh, the super secret. It lasts forever. It cuts super smooth, and it's cheap. That, that blade doesn't exist. So moving on. The, the hardwood workbench with four drawers. This, this is a controversial topic here. Everyone who has one of these tells me that it's great. I've seen people who've set them up back to back and use it as like the central workbench in their shop. It's not a true hardwood, you know, hardwood workbench. It doesn't, you know, it's, it has a like what I think like a quarter inch wood top on it, something that's filled with like a balsam material, something on the inside. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is the guys who have it, use it, say it, it works. I don't know. It, they, they swear by it. And they, we know we've been doing this for four years here at the Den of Tools. And I've not once had somebody who'd be like, I bought it. And two or three years later, you're like, you know what? I don't like it anymore. They, they all like it. So there you go. One ton uh, capacity foldable shop crate for 149 uh, Hold off of one ton. Uh, that usually comes down a little bit cheaper, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but should come pretty close to like 120 or 100 now, prices may have gone up with tariffs and whatnot, but still. All right, and there we've got the Daytona in the three lovely colors for 120 That's their, their three-ton series. Man, those Daytona jacks are, are pretty solid. you got to like those. All right, we got the new Franklin uh, ladder for $54.99. A little lightweight for my uses, but maybe for you in the shop or something. Uh, the Vulcan weld, uh, ArcSafe Welding Auto Darkening Helmet, 120 Wow. That is a great helmet. I, I Lots of guys have that. They, they, they swear by it. Uh, I know professionals who use this helmet and like it. You know, somebody tried to say, spread some stuff about it doesn't switch over fast enough or something. Uh, I'm sorry, that's just bullpucky. Uh, this thing's been tested. They've shown that the response time on these helmets is just as fast, if not faster, than the big boys. So, uh, yeah. I, I love these people like, well, I work in the trades. I'm the... Yeah, but you're going based off of your feelings and you're not going based off of technical results. And technical results are, they, you know, they all come back the same, showing that this thing responds as fast or faster than any other brand out there. All right, we've got the uh, Mechanics Toolkit there for the Pittsburgh uh, for $99. Remember, I'm not a huge fan of these toolkits, but if you just need to get started, I know a lot of guys like it. Step Warrior, uh, so you say, Warrior uh, Step Drill Bits. Man, get some. If you don't have some in, in your toolbox, Grab a set of these. They're, they're, they really shine. It's all for like cutting holes in, or drilling holes in sheet metal. You need these things. It, it, they're the tool that like, hey, I don't use it every day, but when you need it, you need it. All right, next page. We've got the horizontal shaft Predator motor. This is the default one that you see uh, put on uh, mini bikes and all sorts of stuff. $99. This thing is darn near bulletproof. And believe it or not, there's an, even an aftermarket scene. You can buy performance parts for it and all sorts of stuff. Uh, but that said, that is the standard kind of basic pricing. Sometimes you see it a few bucks cheaper, but don't feel bad buying it for a hundred bucks. Pancake compressors, not a huge fan of them. A uh, hundred bucks for a few bucks more. You can get that fortress. That's whisper quiet, save your eardrums, spend the extra money. And we'll get to the fortress here in a little bit. The Zurich, we're going to get to the Zurich stuff here in a little bit. Also 20 ton hydraulic a bottle jack. A lot of people don't realize that that is out there. Eighty nine ninety nine. This thing will lift about anything. <laughs> oh, there's the Finger Slicer two thousand. They're still selling. I guess that's going to be their good. Uh, with the Hercules being the best, can we expect to see an Admiral middle of the line? That would be interesting. I'd like to see that. All right, we got the Predator wood chipper. Is it good? Does it say Predator on it? It does, doesn't it? What I say about Predator? What the bear say? You know what the bear said? It says Predator. It's good. All right, uh, we got the, the dollies there, $39.99, not bad. Have you seen the new Daytona dollies? I think we're going to get to those later here in the show. Uh, the 7-inch 10-amp variable speed uh, polisher, that's a decent one, but the dual uh, action polisher is back out under the Braun name. That's the go-to one. And let's see here, uh, impact sets. Man, 
every, everybody and their brother, they, they all admit it. The impact sets are awesome. You got to like them. You got to. It's a law. I'm pretty sure. All right, paintbrushes, 69 cents. Not bad for your basic jobs. I don't know if I'd use it for the detail work, but not bad. The microfiber cloths, uh, I usually you know snag those up free. I've, I've got piles of the free ones. I, I don't even think about buying those. Uh, let's zip through some of these here. The clamps down here. Oh, for 219. You know how many clamps is too many? Trick question. No such thing. You need more clamps. And these clamps, these are the ones you want to get. You can use them for welding. You can use them for woodworking. You can use them for all sorts of stuff. Avoid the plastic ratcheting quick release things. Those things will just strip on you and you'll be, oh, you'll be a sad bear. That's, this is the clamp you want right here. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Um, pickup tool for $2.99. You want it. Trust me. Save your back. I drop stuff all the time and I have pickup tools scattered all over the shop. And let's see your uh, floor mat set for $5.99. Man, if you're sitting on a, on a concrete floor day in and day out, your legs and your back are going to gonna thank you if you get one of these mats. Pocket work life for $4.99. This is the non-flex one, but man, it is great. It's a magnetic base. I use mine all the time. The chalk over here for $4.99, the rubber chalk. People ask me about it. Hey, is that any good? It's a rubber chalk. I don't know what you expect it to do, but man, it does it. I've even used mine when, with our RV when we had it. Probably not the best call, but I use it with my trailer all the time. I've got two of them. They, they work. They just, just plain work. All right, here we've got the new Fortress for $3.99. As I said, we knew that was coming out. Next to it, we've got the... Uh, the five gallon, which is will run two finished nailers, two floor nailers nonstop for three twenty nine. Man, these the fortress compressors are they're just beasts. I would like to see that fortress twenty seven gallon come down. I'd like to see it in the three seventy range. I really would. I, I may be pulling hairs here at this point because the performance on those things has been fabulous. All right, chainsaw, Bauer chainsaw. Man, are you ready to go out into the uh, the hinterlands and take down some redwoods? Well, you're not doing it with this. This is for around the house. This is definitely, this isn't even prosumer. This is DIY. This is clearing shrubs, brushes, and small trees. You know, small being a relative term. Like I've been using the term, I say we got box elder trees. Just so you know, uh, the typical box elder has a diameter of about 10 inches and could be as 20 or 30 feet tall. So it's not tiny, but it's not like the red oak we have on the corner of the house that I need to get, you know, a big gas-powered Husqvarna or something. But for pruning and trimming and getting rid of, like, some weed trees and stuff, this, it'll do it. It'll do it just fine. If you're always, already in the Bauer line, then then why not pick one up? It's $70. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've seen it cheaper. I was wondering if it was at $60. Uh, maybe it's coming to China if they remember. All right, there we've got the new welding cart. So I the picture is still there. I don't know why they did this. I think it's just so they could show it to you. So the, the accessory rack that's on the side of that cart, yes, it's blocking the door to the welder if you're going to put another spool or something on. That said, you can move it. It's interchangeable. You can mount it on the other side. I told them about it. They, I don't know if they're going to change the picture or not. I think the problem is that they want to show it at this particular angle with the welder, but if they move it to the other side, then you won't see that it's there. I don't know, but it's, it's interchangeable, so... There we've got the new uh, Union Safe, the little fireproof uh, document safe. And there's that big boy ladder for $2.99. A lot of people complained they only had a, a weight capacity of, I think it was uh, 220 or something like that. But if you can tell, it's pretty tall and spindly there, lightweight. You know, lightweight and heavy duty are mutually exclusive terms. So, uh, you know, you can't argue to maybe go on a diet. And this is coming from a bear who's, one of the bigger bears, all right? I'm not complaining because it's too small for me. All right. And here we've got the Hallmaster versus the Franklin versus the Costco. I, uh, I don't know what to say about that. I'm pretty sure Costco is an independent brand. And I looked at this before and everyone said, I mean, I've seen, I was at a trade show. And Costco was there. It's not a Harbor Freight brand. I'm stunned that they're carrying it because almost everything else, especially in their good, better, best lineup, are all house brands. And here we've got Costco in here. I don't get it. But anyway, the Fra I looked at the Franklin one. It looks fantastic. And guys and gals, get a hand truck. If you have a shop, 
you better have a hand truck because you're back in 20 or 30 years will be telling you that you made a mistake if you don't. Work smart, not hard. Take it from an older bear. There are a bunch of older guys on here. We've all talked about it. Your your back, it just it will not last forever. It's it's a tool. It's a mechanical device, just like you, uh, or just like this, I should say. Uh, the Hallmaster uh, rooftop mounted steel cargo carrier for sixty nine ninety nine. Uh, it looks pretty much exactly like the one I, I picked up from Walmart. Now, granted, remember, the one I got at Walmart was a closeout. That deal's done. It's buried. Uh, the Walmart switched brands, so that's not going to happen again. I It looks exactly the same. I'm pretty sure it's from the same manufacturer. We love it. And if you've seen the photos, go to the community page. You can see how much we loaded that thing up. We had two of those black and yellow boxes plus a bike on top of the wife's little truck there. So it, it held up just fine. All right, the Centec uh, OB2 code reader for $24.99. This is simply a code reader. It's going to get your codes, the basic stuff. It can probably clear a few errors, uh, I'm guessing, but I have yet to see one that can't cl uh, clear an error or two. This is not your mechanics kind of stuff. This is just so you can see the code, look it up, so when you take your car to the shop, you can say, when the, guy, the mechanic tells you, hey, this is what we think it is, you can tell whether he's blowing smoke up your tailpipe or not. Also, you can tell if it's telling you your gas cap's open, which is half the time the case. The Ames Infrared Laser Thermometer, $49.99. Uh, man, I love laser thermometers. And the nice thing about this one is it does the spread pattern, so you can really see where you're getting your temperatures from. A lot of people think it's the laser that does that. That's, the laser doesn't actually do it. Uh, it's infrared. The laser is just your guide to see where you're taking your temperatures from. All right. Uh, the earthquake hose reel we're going to come back to that the black widow ones but these are super coupons okay so you definitely want to check these out uh all right uh we've got the um, 179 for the hose reel we've got 149 for the spray guns i'm not gonna talk about the spray guns i talked to the guy who designed them he's a smart guy i don't know really at this level with the spray guns what's competitive because i'm kind of out of the spray gun business i have done it many many years uh the recip saw there for 84.99 Man, that I love that Herc Recip saw, and, and the the portable clamping workstation, the Franklin one for ninety nine dollars. Man, that thing is as I did a comparison against the the Rockwell. It, it's like the Rockwell uh, uh, John Horse, basically version one point five. Basically, you know, as a second move, mover on this, they had a chance to sit back, see where uh, uh, Rockwell made all the mistakes, fix those mistakes, and come out with a better product. It's just that simple. Does all the basics the same, just has better, you know, trim package, if you will. And next up, we've got the Quinn Digital Torque Wrenches. Oh, man, I'd love to get my paws on one of these. I've been begging and begging, but they haven't sent them over, you know. I already got that uh, Icon uh, Torque Wrench, and I've got the Quinn uh, Digital Torque Adapter. So, uh, it's kind of hard to justify me making the purchase to buy these. But, you know, 149 for the, uh, the half inch, uh, 140 for the uh, three eighths. Uh, I, a lot of people say that they look like the cobalt one that was out. I, I, I mean, yeah, does it look like it? it? Well, it's the same. They're both blue ish and they're digital torque adapters. So I guess at some level they, they look, uh, the same, but I don't know. I haven't had a chance to compare them. Maybe one day soon we'll get to it. All right. Next we got the Quinn, uh, ratcheting sets comes with three ratchets and uh, all your SAE and metric sockets. It's, I don't want to say it's non-skip, but it's pretty close to non-skip. And, uh, man, it's got some some great quality there for the price at $40. For those of you who have been thinking about pit picking up that Pittsburgh set, you know, and I have the Pittsburgh set, I'd be hard-pressed not to get the Quinn set there. The fit and finish on the Quinn, it's really good. It's right up there. It's almost on par, almost identical to the uh, the Cobalt that we saw over at, uh, at Lowe's. And uh, I've liked that set. I've liked all the Cobalt stuff I've got. So it'd be hard to say no to something like this. All right, we got some more super coupons here. We got the Power Bank there for $4.99. I haven't tried one of those, but, you know, next time I go to Harbor Freight, I'll, if I remember, I'll pick one up and give it a try. We got the larger 10,000 milliamp one. Maybe I'll grab one of those too. Next to that, we've got the new Warrior uh, miter saw stand. Now, this is the universal folding miter saw. This is part of the good, better, best. This is the good level. It's below the Central Electric, or uh, Chicago Electric. It's well below the Hercules. And and part of that, though, I mean, at $50 is the fact that it will only do a 10-inch 
uh, miter saw. So you're not going to put one of the big, you're not going to put the Hercules on this. You're not going to put the big Chicago electric one on it. You, I, in fact, I'd probably recommend uh, going with something even smaller, maybe like a seven and a half inch. Uh, but for small, lightweight portability for basic DIY or kind of stuff, it's not a bad solution. All right. And, okay, down here we've got the bucket for $279. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I promised you guys a bucket comparison. I got to go round up some more buckets. We're going to do it. All right. Here we got Bauer and Lynx in their uh, lawn care products. You know, the Bauer's got the blower. It's got the chainsaw. It's got the trimmer. I've got all three great basic kind of stuff. If you're in the Bauer line, it's really nice to be able to add that to your home care kind of, you know, kit. If you're doing something more significant, you're taking down bigger trees, uh, you're, uh, you've got bigger yards to take care of. That's the case where you might want to step up to the links with the 40 volt. If you're just doing basic stuff, your average home, uh, homeowner kind of stuff, I think the bower will be more than enough for you. Just remember, get some of the bigger batteries, keep them charging because the, the blowers and stuff, those things eat up batteries like nobody's business. Chainsaw on the trimmer, not, not nearly as badly, but, but the blower will certainly snack on them like nobody's <laughs> like a tourist at Yellowstone. Anyway, by the way, for those of you who don't know, it's bison petting season up at Yellowstone. So be sure to bring a friend and see if you can pet a bison. Freaking tourists. Anyway, it's, sorry, bad joke. I know, poor taste. But every year there's some fool who goes over there and tries to pet the bison. All righty. Uh, and then down below, we've got the good category. Bauer being the better and Lynx being the best. Portland is the good one, which means on this case, it's plug-in. Yep, no batteries here. Uh, they're not robust. They're not high end by any means. But if you're looking for a budget solution, that's the way to go. And you got a $10 off super coupon down there on any Portland product. You know, I should have picked up one of those Portland's, uh, the, uh, the pull saws. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. All right. And we're back talking about Predator. As I said, if it says Predator on it, it's good. It, it just is. That's why I'm not going to talk about these much anymore. It, it, the inverter generators, we get the larger one here for $7.99, the smaller for $4.99. If, if you're out at a campsite that allows generators, now a lot of like if you're at an RV parks or like that, they won't allow generators. But if you're, at, you're off, you're dry camping or something, and you need a generator, the inverter generators, they're so quiet. They only kick in when you need it. They step down in power if you're not using max power. That's the way to go. If you're on a work site, you're going to want one of these bigger generators down here. But again, Man, the, the Predator is the way to go. Get the extended warranty on it. You got any problems, man, they'll just swap it out for you. It, it's Now, granted, on some of the bigger ones, if there's a service center in your town, uh, they will send it in for service. But uh, to be honest, they're, they're not that many service centers. So a lot of cases, they just swap it out. All right, real quick, I want to talk about the Drummond stuff. Uh, again, this is something that the bear hasn't used personally, but I'm just giving you feedback passing along. I did a call out a few videos back, asked what people thought about the Drummond. I've had probably 200, 250 responses at this point. Man, everyone loves the Drummond. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> we love you, Mr. Drummond. See if you get that reference. Anyway, point of the matter is they're great pumps, uh, affordable prices, the, now, one, one thing, you know, if you buy one, you cannot return it to the store. And there's a reason for that. It's because quite often people are pumping some nasty stuff with these. And it's for the safety of the sales associate and, and stuff like that. They don't want those kind of chemicals or other non-mentionables uh, back in the store. So you have to, like, mail it in or something to, to return them. All right, moving on. Let's talk about Vanguard. Vanguard is the new name there for their, their corded stuff, their extension cords and whatnot. And I'm really hoping they're stepping up their game. I've got some of the older extension cords from Harbor Freight, and they're not that robust. So hopefully with this, I'll be honest, I haven't seen them yet. If you have, why don't you comment down below and let us know what you think about them. Sorry about the sirens in the background, if you can hear it. My gosh, there's always something going off around here. We're talking about the bronze stuff. And I got to tell you, the, whether it's Braun or Quantum, all the new lighting and stuff from Harbor Freight has been fabulous. The Braun, the flashlights, there's the flip light for $39.99. By far, not the best price I've seen on that. There's the work light. I love how they'll have the item, the same item in the catalog in multiple places. And one point is 20 bucks, And on this page, it's $30. Man, I will never understand Harbor Freight's marketing department. <laughs> But anyway, if it says Braun or Quantum on it, it's a quality product. Just make sure you're getting the best price for it. Okay, and here we have some of the lighting up here. This is the string lights. 
as I said, I've used these I, again. It's an accent light. It's not the kind of light to read by. You know, we strung some around our porch. It's nice. It, it gives off a nice warm glow. But again, you're, it's not for lighting air. Although I did say, I, I take that back. I did see a, a cool setup where somebody took some of these and they all, they hung them in a very, like a circular pattern, a, a spiral reducing pattern. So you had much more lights concentrated in a single area. And that actually uh, provided a good amount of light and was a, a unique kind of look too. So maybe try something like that. Uh, there's the good, better, best on the batteries. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I don't have anything to say on those right now. Um, if you've had good experience with the batteries, why don't you chime in down below? Let me know what you think about them. I want to talk about the lawn chair over there, the, the folding aluminum sports chair. I actually like the style of chair like that, but uh, I found this chair to be, believe it or not, like, like small. Like I've looked at a ton of these chairs and they're all about the same size. And this chair is about a third smaller than all the other chairs I've seen, uh, which may account for why it's cheaper. So if you're a smaller person, Hey, it's a great chair for you. It's got a nice little table on the side that folds up. It's got a nice little storage pouch on the other side. Other than that, uh, <laughs> I would say pass on it. All right. Remember, we're talking about clamps before. Well, here's that, that ratcheting clamp there. We see it there on sale for, uh, you know, super cheap. And there's a reason, man. These things are just, I'm sorry to say they're, they're junk. If you just need to hold something real quick, maybe, maybe, but I... I say skip it and just go for the metal quick clamp below it. That bar clamp, that is the way to go. I've got dozens of those things. They're fabulous. Hey, next to it, I want to talk about the uh, the the digital uh, calipers over there. Uh, if you've seen my video on the wrenches, you've seen me using them. Uh, they're fabulous. They're quick. They're, they're accurate. Uh, the price on it is right. Uh, it, unless you're a machinist or something, the, these things will get you the reading you want super quick. And it won't break the bank doing it. I love them. Road Shock. Oh, man. You know, I've done some testing with off-road lights. I still haven't tested the Road Shock ones. Uh, one of these days, I'll probably get around to it. I've been trying to get my paws on a on a cheap ATV or side-by-side -side up here. There was one on auction. It was a six-wheel one, an old one from Polaris. Uh, it was a, a city-owned. I think it was a Glacier, uh, Glacier County owned it, actually. And uh, it went up for auction. I thought, hey, maybe I'll get that one cheap. It ended up going for six grand. Whew. Anyway, we talked about the Badland winches. Pick your size. It, they're all good. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, we talked about the Cargo Rack. Moving on. Daytona. I know we talked about this before, but here they are. they got the three colors plus the yellow. Hey, which some people don't know is that yellow one comes with a, believe it's a, it's a multi-year warranty. Let me double check the, the time on that. Yeah, that yellow one comes with a three-year warranty. Built in. No extra charge. That that might right there make it worth stepping up to it for you. Especially if you, you uh, if you wrench all the time, you're constantly using it. Definitely that might be the one to go with. Speaking of Daytona, we've got the new Daytona uh, car dollies over there. 139 uh, maybe this is, you know, more than you need, but as I said, there's an option over there, but real quick, uh, oh, also they got the rack. So when you have all four of them, you have a nice little handy rack to put them on. But I also want to talk about that lifting cart. That's right underneath that for 179, man. Oh man. Oh man. I, the bear talks about it all the time. Every single person who's held out, who didn't buy one and finally got around to buy one has messaged me and said, bear, you, you were right. I, I don't know why I was so stubborn and waited so long. I needed one of these. I didn't even know it. This is one of the most useful things in your shop. You got to get one. There's a 500 pound and a 1000 pound. And I have the 500 pound. I'm actually thinking about selling it and getting the 1000. Not because I need to lift 1000. 500, I'll, I'll never come even close to it. But because of the fact that the 1000 goes up higher and will actually get even closer to my lift gate. So I won't have a little four or six inch gap there to, to slide things down onto. Uh, Anyway, but that that's maybe that's just me, but I, I dare you to go out and buy one and tell me that you don't find it useful around your shop. All right, here we are back with the Zurich stuff. We got the full Zurich lineup, and then we even have the top of the line Zurich pad there versus the uh, the Snap On. And you know, it, it, how do I say this? So I have the inexpensive Zurich one. I, I picked that up to get some codes off of my truck. Worked great. Did a quick little video on it. It was about a year ago or so. You can take a look at it. Some other people have done some videos on the, the Zurich tablets and stuff. Uh, here's what I got to say. 
I, I think they're pretty good, especially for the price. Uh, when it comes to that top of the line one, that's a little more iffy. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the guys that I, you know who are part of the den say go with the Autel. That, that that's a better solution for you there for the price. Definitely, I would hesitate. Snap One makes a great one. They really do, but they really just run you over with the the uh, the updates and the pricing, and the software, and they're known to like. There's been a case where they've recently sold a tablet and then just basically discontinued it. Said, "Sorry, you got to buy the new one." I'm just like, "What? Can you imagine paying that kind of money and then having them just be like, no, we're not going to support that one anymore. You got to buy the new one.'" Ah. Uh, anyway, Ames over here. Ames is another one of these new brands that Harbor Freight has. It's a higher end, uh, you know, electric, you know, area. There's a lot of clamp meters, stuff like that. I, I gotta say, there's nothing I've used in the Ames uh, category that I haven't liked. And I've got the high end clamp meter, and it just blows me away. The thing is fabulous. You know, it's it is CE rated. It's not UL rated, which means on certain job sites you wouldn't be able to use it. But that said, man, for the price, it, it just so much cheaper than everything else in the market for what it does. Uh, it basically gives a level of access to technology that a lot of people, you know, prosumer, low-end pros couldn't normally get access to. All right, moving on. And here's the new lineup for Harbor Freight uh, spray guns here. This is the air-powered guns, not the airless. So you're going to be spraying thinner-based kind of stuff here. A lot of automotive, a lot of paint thinners, or not paint thinners, but stains kind of stuff. So what you've got here is the central pneumatic, and then you've got the spectrum, and then you're stepping up to the top of the line, the Black Widow. Uh, I have not tried the Black Widow or the spectrum. As I said before, I've talked to the guy who's the designer behind these. He's a smart guy. He really is. Uh, I used to do some spray gun stuff uh, way back 30 years ago. Uh, I had a side business where I was doing automotive paint touch-up. And uh, it's... So, I don't know. Anyway, all I can say is that everything I've seen about them looks good. But there's some of you I know who have been complaining say it doesn't have this feature or that feature. To me, it sounds a lot like, well, this is what my personal preference is versus that other preference. I don't know. Maybe weigh in down below. Tell me what the Bears got wrong. You know, explain why it really is, you know, you think yours is better than this. Here's that Black Widow there. Your choice for $200. That's got a lot of features for that price. All right. And here we're, we got the good, better, best comparison again. We got the Central Pneumatics, the McGraw, and the Fortress. Wow. It, shut up, Moto. Yeah, it's a big jump up to that Fortress. The Central Pneumatics, 189, uh, sorry, Central Pneumatic, 189 versus the McGraw. So the Central Pneumatic price at 189, that's a bit misleading. You, you never pay 189 for that. That's like a $150 uh, compressor there. The McGraw, though, when it's on sale, is like 170 So it's a $20 difference. And now this is the oiled McGraw, not the oilless we were talking about below. You can actually you can see that one down there that we were talking about before. But the, here, look at here's the difference. Is again, it's a lot like that Chicago Electric versus the Admiral. The McGraw just has a whole bunch of features that if somebody came up to you and said, "Hey, for you've got the Central Pneumatic for thirty-five dollars, or I should say for twenty dollars, because that's the price difference for twenty dollars, would you want better dials?" A lot of you'd say, "Yeah." Would you want a easier access to the drain plug? Would you want uh, to move the airline? To a part where it isn't easy to hit it and basically ruin your compressor. Would you want better knobs on it, better control? Everything about it is like, yeah, it's like basically it's the central pneumatic done right for $20 more. Why would you not buy that? I don't understand. Uh, it, it's, I hate to say it, but unless price is your only deciding factor, you want to go with the McGraw. The Fortress, though, it, it's so nice and it, and it does so much and it does it so well. But again, you know, at that price, you got to justify whether it makes sense for you. Now, as far as the smaller ones, you know, this is one thing we're going to talk about this here in a little bit. When we're talking about air tools, but I find myself, I, you know, I find myself quite often going for that two gallon fortress. It is whisper quiet, doesn't offend my fuzzy little ears one bit, and it does 99% of the work I need it to do. And we'll, we're, as I said, we're going to talk about air compressors more here in just a second. Okay, so... Air compressors. Air compressors on their own are meaningless. They're a power source for other things. Now, whether it's you're blowing out your shop or filling up tires or something, 
or running a tool that, as I said, by their own, they don't really have much meaning. There's always another solution. You want to blow out your shop? Well, you can get the, a job site, worksite blower. You can use that Bauer blower. You can use the new Hercules blower. You want to air up your tires? You can use a hand pump. You can use a little, you know, uh, a compressor pump. You know, Bauer has one, cordless even. And then we talk about the big tools, the shop tools. You know, like the Chief stuff. This is a lot of stuff you see with auto body kind of stuff. You got the riveter, you've got the grinder, uh, you, you got cutoff tools. You see a lot of use in body shop kind of stuff. And then you also we've we've got the air tools uh, for say uh, you know the mechanics kind of stuff, impact wrenches and, and stuff like this. I'm gonna say it right now, and I'm gonna tick a lot of people off. But here's the deal. This is the truth of it. Air is dead as a power source. It just doesn't know it yet. And, and here's why. For the individual, it is more convenient to have an electric cordless kind of you know environment. Sure, maybe some corded tools also because corded tools have a have ton of power. And they're often underrated for what you can do with them. But why would you want to have a, a compressor in your shop when you can have these other tools? For the small timer individual kind of stuff. Big shops will still be supplying air because they have mechanics who need to use them. But in the end, as battery power gets better or quarter power get, gets cheaper and stuff, it's going to get to the point where it, it just will replace it. And here's the other thing. That's a cost factor for the shop. If the shop could put it on you and say, hey, you have to provide your own tools like you're already doing, they're, at some point they're going to start realizing, hey, there are corded or cordless tools out there they can provide. So I'm going to stop providing a, a compressor for the shop and put it all on you guys because they can and they will. And that's that's just going to be the future of it. Uh, mark my words, 10 years from now, only high-end shops and maybe body shops will still be running air and everything else will be cordless. It, it, it's just the way that the world's going to go. You know, look at nailers. Yeah, I love nailers. You know, uh, air powered nailers, they're they are so fantastic and so usable. But how many times are people talking about, but what I really want is the cordless nailer? Because they want to get rid of that cord. The cord is a pain. And on a job site, it's a problem. Also, you got those cords going all the way across stuff. If you're in a finished home, you got to worry about scratching surfaces and marring the work surface and whatnot. Cordless is where it's going, all going in every shape or form at this. It, it's just a matter of time and technology. All right, and here we have the miter saws with the miter saw stands. But real quick, hold on there. There's a, a bit of a warning here. And I don't know why they did this. And I, I think, honestly, they should change this. But they've got, so they got the Hercules above the Hercules miter saw stand. Great. They've got the Admiral above the Chicago Electric. Okay. But they've got the 12-inch Chicago Electric above the Warrior miter saw stand. And that's a problem because that Warrior is only built for 10 inch saws. It's misleading and I can see somebody buying that and getting hurt uh, because of it. So just again, be aware that Warrior is only for 10 inch saws. It's light duty. Oh, as far as the Hercules, it's a beast. and But the price on it should be around 300. It also comes with a one year warranty. So uh, look around for coupons. You can find one better than that. New tool alert, new tool alert, new tool alert. The variable speed multi-tool for $129.99. This is a corded Hercules product. Now, if you know, if you've been watching the live streams, and if if you're not at the live streams, the Saturday Night Live streams, why are you not in the Saturday Night Live streams? That's what I got to know. Because you will have known that this is already out because you, in fact, probably wouldn't even seen the box because I got it in my grubby little paws. And I've been leaking uh, hints and stuff with about it over there. And they've come out with a whole new line. I've got a box filled, a whole new line of Hercules blades for the uh, the multi-tool. I, I know the guy who works on this. He's a he, he's a multi-tool nerd, all right? He he loves multi-tools, and this is kind of his, his little baby here. So uh, I he has not said that there's going to be a cordless, but I can't imagine there's not a cordless following this one up. There's got to be. So anyway... Be sure to check that out, this one out. We'll have a, a review on that coming up shortly. The Chicago Electric Drills. Man, I love these things. Uh, I've got the small one. I've got the 17-inch. I think they're fabulous. But I got a video comparison. One of my buddies in town has 
the uh, the the win variable speed, digital variable speed. So I'm going to be testing that out later this week. Maybe we'll do a video on that one here, and we'll see how that fits out into the lineup. Uh, remember, people asking about the lathe, the central machinery lathe. Those things are fabulous. We're going to talk central machinery here at the end of the video, though, so t stay tuned for that. All right, here's all the Bauer, you know, demo kind of stuff. These things are great. Uh, everyone who's tried one loves them. Uh, there's that the box planer at 329. I don't get the pricing here, but let's go over here. Let's come down here and talk about the Sanders because we got the new. Uh, there's a is it in here? I don't see it, but there is a Bauer cordless uh, detail uh, sander coming out, or it's already out. We got the variable speed belt sander that's out. And then we've got the Warrior uh, palm sander and the uh, and uh, also the uh, the Bauer finishing sander. They're, they're coming out with all a whole bunch of sanders. And we're going to see these in Warrior. We're going to see them in Bauer. I don't know if there's going to be a Hercules sander. I would like to see them, see how they are. Oh, and we got the new Admiral sanding pads. Uh, I you know I I at some point here I'm going to do a a. a some reviews on some of the disposable items. We'll definitely include those in it, but it's going to be a little bit until we get around to those. And here we go with good, better, best in our hand drills. Again, Hercules is not going away. If you go to any of the shops, a lot of them are saying that the Hercules section's under construction, uh, you know, new tools coming soon, that kind of stuff. Basically, as I said, they're doing a redesign. It, it, it's almost entirely cosmetic, may change the grip angle a little bit, it's going to take the same batteries, all the same accessories. It's going to be the same on the inside. Uh, the uh, But we're going to have the uh, the Warrior at, at the low end. And I've got all three of these. And I got to say, they're the Warrior for, like, if you're just like the average Joe homeowner who basically has to hang a picture every so often, maybe assemble some Ikea furniture, uh, you know, add a rail to the deck kind of stuff, doing maintenance kind of thing, you can do it with the Warrior. It's just fine. Uh, if you're going to be serious, like I'm going to be doing some room add-ons, that kind of stuff, you're going to Prue Summer level, that's where you're going to want the Bauer. And the Hercules is if you're like a serious hardcore Pro Summer or low-end uh, Pro, that's when you're going to want to step up to the Hercules stuff. I love the Hercules. It, it's my go-to. Um, and then the uh, we've got the new uh, job site blower down there. If you see, it looks almost identical to the Bauer one that's out. But let's be honest, all of these job site blowers seem to look the same. I think they all come out of one factory in Shenzhen or something. <laughs> I think there's one company, the blower people or something, that make it. I don't know, but they all look the same. But we'll see how it performs. And we got the 12 volt stuff from Hercules. Uh, you know, we've got the impact, the drill driver, and in the center there, we got the 12 volt screwdriver. Honestly, I think the 12 volt screwdriver is pretty much worth buying by itself. Uh, even if you're not going to do everything else, that 12 volt for around the house kind of stuff, it, I work on PCs and electronics. Uh, there's a lot of delicate kind of stuff. It's got a torque setting on it. So you've got a great pistol grip screwdriver with a torque setting. And it's fabulous for so many things. And I find I'm using that more than pretty much anything else on a daily basis. And on top of it, if you do get it, you can use your standard uh, Hercules. If you're already in the Hercules line, you can use your standard Hercules charger with that 12 volt battery there. Bauer, Bauer, and more good Bauer. You know, the the Bauer line, as I said, if you're a serious or even semi-serious homeowner, they're, they're going head to toe here with Ryobi. That's exactly who they're going up against and who they're trying to aim for. And if you're a Harbor Freight shopper already, you got to consider the Bauer line. They have so many great tools. You know, a lot of people are confusing them thinking that they're professional grade because they're so good. They're really that 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 kind of, that handy, and then they've added so many accessory things. We've got the work lights, we've got the shop blowers, we've got the vacuum. I, I use I clean the house. I, I did, believe it or not, I did. I know the misses and, and the Cubs are down in, in Vegas right now, and uh, I was having some people over, and so I had to do a quick uh, cleanup because we got a Labrador over here who sheds like a fool. And I gotta say that the thing made short work of our when we got a small house. Made short work of it. It was great. One battery, did the whole house. Uh, two bedrooms, kitchen, bathroom, entryway, living room, all of it. I love that thing. It is so useful. And there we can see we, we got the pump that's already out, the right angle that's already out that I love. And in the middle, what is that? That's a radio. I haven't seen it in stores yet, but hopefully we're going to see it soon. Who knows, though? It might be six months or more. Okay, I'm teasing Harbor Freight there. But... 
They have a tendency to put stuff in these catalogs that may take a few months to come out. I don't know. It could be out already. Because there's some other stuff that showed up that's just like, hey, we're here. Kind of like the uh, the, the Recip saw and, oh, what was the other thing? Something else that showed up in stores. Everyone's like, oh, wow, <laughs> where'd that come from? All right, grinders. You know, I'm not going to go into the grinders. They've really expanded their grinder lineup. I haven't had a chance to use anything other than the basic stuff. A lot of people have said that they love them, especially that Hercules one. But I haven't used them myself. But anyway, maybe I'll get my paws on one shortly. All right, I'm skipping a few pages ahead here. I know we skipped over the gloves and a bunch of other stuff. As I said, we can't cover everything we can't. But I want to talk about the Franklin Portable Clamping Workstation. I did a review recently, as I just said. There's the, the why am I even doing this one? Uh, delete this, don't use this. All right, here we got the welders. We got the Chicago Electric versus the Titanium. I know we talked about the Flux Core, but we got the whole lineup here. Uh, I, I think the Chicago Electric gets a bad rap. They're, they're definitely not pro grade welders by, by any means, but for your average, you know, average guy, DIYer kind of stuff, they're more than adequate for doing basic stuff, learning to weld on. Even the little flux cord. Now we got the 90 amp inverter stick welder there for 160 there, uh, which is, I was surprised as anybody to see them add a, a, to the lineup with the Chicago Electric. And then the titanium stuff, everyone who's tested the titanium stuff has come out just raving about it. I, I have yet to see a bad, you know, a negative review regarding the titanium, much less the Vulcan. Uh, and, and that's what you're looking at, guys and gals, is the Vulcan is the, the, the pro grade kind of stuff. Uh, that's for people who are, you're either a super serious prosumer or you're a professional, you're earning a buck doing it. The titanium is definitely your better than average prosumer kind of level. And the Chicago Electric is the every, every man's kind of welder, especially for people learning to get into it and, and want to figure th some things out. Also, for those of you who don't know, there, there, I don't know if I should tell you, there's a whole support group out there for those uh, cheap uh, Chicago Electric flux cores where they mod them to add gas and turn them into tiny little MIG welders. It's true. You check it out. I, I'll maybe I'll find a link and put it down. Maybe someone of you guys, I'm sure, know about it. Why don't you post a link down there for everyone? All right, we talked about Apache before. Now we can see the full lineup here. Uh, the, the Apache cases, these things are fabulous. And they've got the new suitcase style one, or I should say flight case style, where the handle pops out and you can slide along and everything. Uh, it's got wheels and whatnot. That thing is, is a great case. I, I was looking at the store... Uh, I just love them. And then let's also talk about the Hercules bags. I love these bags. I do. I, you know, I honestly wish the Hercules, the 20 volt stuff would actually come in a bag and not those blow molded cases. I hate the blow molded cases. Uh, for some stuff, I, I, yeah, I get it. But for drill drivers and stuff, I just want a bag. And I use these bags for all sorts of stuff. And I'm probably going to be expanding getting, I want to get this, the bigger bag there on the left there for some stuff. Uh, and I, and I use the, uh, the basic, the Voyager bags. I use those as kind of accessory bags for all sorts of stuff. I carry camera gear. Uh, I, I carry, uh, fishing stuff in it. I do all sorts of stuff with those bags. I love them. Okay. And lastly, I want to talk about some coupons here. We got in here. Uh, we got, again, we got the 20% 20, 20 off coupon. There's almost always a 20% coupon floating around. You should, if there isn't a, if it isn't on the excluded list and there isn't already a, a better coupon out for it. In fact, you know what I do? I, I just have one on my phone ready to go so when I check out and anything that already isn't on sale or I don't have a coupon for automatically gets that 20% applied to it. If it's not usable, it'll just not apply it. So it's kind of your, your safety your safety uh, harness there. Make sure you're not overpaying. Because remember, the first rule of shopping at Harbor Freight is always use a coupon. All right, and second rule is always get a free item and you can't go wrong with your free flashlights. We've talked about it before. You got to get them. And then underneath that list, we have the recap of the 10% off coupon for anything from Portland. All right. Now, lastly, I want to talk. Now, lastly, I want to talk about the super coupon. I did a video on this and I've been talking about it in a lot of my other videos. And some of you loons out there keep trying to say that it's not a real thing. It is. You see the little box down there? I know it's hard to read. But go look on the front of your catalog, right where that little box says. It says Central Machinery. Yes, Central Machinery is getting added to the banned list from Super Coupons. Why? Tariff pricing. It's just that simple. Uh, you know, it, it's that's what happens when in a trade war. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, uh, somebody even called me a conspiracy theorist for saying that 
central machinery was getting banned. He's like, no, it's not. Why do you keep making this stuff up? You're just trying to clickbait. I'm like, I make a off the paw comment halfway through a video. That's clickbait. Apparently people just like to throw these terms around. And I don't think they know what they really mean. Point of the matter is this. Oh my gosh, that train point of the matter is this central machinery is going to show up on more and more of the coupons. There are coupons out there that don't have it on there that are still valid. So if you run into a case, you can go and politely ask the store manager and be like, Hey, I get you're trying to get to that point, but you still have these coupons out and you still have to honor them. So anyway, there you go. That's your August sale flyer from Harbor Freight for the month. You all take care. Stay tuned for more good tool reviews and such. Make sure you've liked and subscribed. Chomp the old like button. Ah, and, and ring that bell. Otherwise, you'll miss out on all the new stuff coming up this week and more. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, say it with me. Shine on.